Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the 2016 Flurco Shower Door Catalog. As you will be receiving very shortly your new catalog inserts along with your shower door labels, we're going to go through and explain exactly what the changes are in the catalog, what the changes are in the book, and the great new way that the book lays itself out. We're going by Einstein's quote of, if you don't know it well enough, you can't explain it easily. And that's an important factor that we want to get through with you. We know our book has been complicated in the past. This new catalog has made it truly easy. So let's walk over and see our new binders. Currently, this is the current binder you have. And after you make the changes, you're going to see that you'll have the new blue side labels. So in your packets, you'll be receiving two labels, a large label and a small label. Remove the back of the panel, place it very close to the top, just covering the letters below it, so it'll look like that. And then on the bottom, placing that approximately the same depth down from the top. So your catalog is going to end up looking like that. And now, if we go back and look at the ARIA catalog update that you just did, you'll see how it looks like a family of products. The ARIA handouts, the gray tab matching the gray on the ARIA, the new shower door handouts, the blue tab matching the new blue tops. Very important that you search your, your inventory in the stores and make sure that all of your labels now are the blue on the shower door handouts. There are many different changes in the book and we want to make sure that people have the updated catalogs, not units that have discontinued or missing, missing products. So now you have your, your new book and you have your old book. We're, new, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison at this moment so you understand what the difference is between the two books. The old book focused on the different products directly, the Kinetic, the Titan, the K2. So it focused where you needed to know a lot about the product as far as what system did it use, was it a bypass, was it a, a pivot door, but also you needed to know was, was it a high-end program or was it a low-end program. The new shower door catalog is going to take from 14 tabs down to what we look at as five tabs. So the first tabs are going to be your bypass doors, which are your sliding doors that go bypass each other. The sliding which is your one fixed panel with one sliding door, your pivot, which is your swing door with a fixed panel or without the panel, walk-in, which are your, your evolution series, which are your panels and shields now. We're going to go a little further uh, later to discuss what we mean by panels and shields, and then corner doors. The corner doors are your space-saving doors that go in the corner of a, of a room. So now to go into a little further detail, you're going to see that each of the sections has multiple tabs. So that in the bypass section, we've even divided it further down between shower, shower with return, and your tubs. So this is the first time we're actually lo linking together all of your options together. So as I open the first one, you're going to see that the bypass showers start from the very best quality we have, which is our accent, then goes down to the Gemini Plus, Gemini, Cordoba, Cordo uh, Cordoba Plus, Cordoba, Lombardi, and then Catalina. So that very smoothly, you can take your customer through the different quality levels of the type of door they need. Now, as you're going through, you're going to see that all of our doors have now been moved, that the pictures are on the right-hand side of the page it makes it very easy to be able to flip through the book and be able to find the different pictures of the different doors. The second thing to always remember is that you have a lot of fold-out pages. So whenever you see this, this side edge models and prices open here, it means that it's a fold-out page because it has more than one page worth of doors on that page. So as we go through, one of the new products is our new Gemini Plus. Right now, 
Over the last three months of a quiet introduction of this product, this has now become the second best selling line we have in the entire company. We believe within the next six months, it will become the best selling line we have in the company. You're going to notice that there's a Gemini Plus and there's a regular Gemini. The difference is the Gemini Plus is the 3 8 inch version. The regular Gemini is your quarter inch version. So it's a very important difference, but it copies the difference that we did in the Cordoba series last year when we added the Cordoba Plus to the regular Cordoba. As we go through, you're also going to see on the Cordoba Plus, we added a new 72 inch shower bypass. Great item, something that you got, everyone's been asking for for a while. As we continue go, to go through, you will notice at the back of each section, there is a base chart that tells you when you're looking at the different bases, what base we're talking about here. So you'll look at the chart, you'll look at this little thing, and it'll tell you where on the chart you'll find this particular base. The next section, which is our bypass with the returns, again, same premise, Gemini Plus new edition, Gemini. Cordoba Plus, the 72 inches a new edition as well on the return panels. On the tubs, same thing again. You start with your accent, then you go to the Gemini Plus, Gemini, Cordoba Plus. Now the Cordoba Plus, this is a new edition. We have a new 60 inch and a 66 inch model in the Cordoba Plus. They're taller than the regular Cordobas, and they have a little better quality clipping system and, 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 and tracking system than the, uh, than the regular Cordoba. Then our tried and true Cordoba series, the Lombardi Triple Door, and then the Catalina. You will see that we have eliminated the Verona Door, and we have eliminated the Selena Door. Those two series are out of the book and discontinued. The next section, I'm going to go back to the front is the sliding doors. The sliding doors are your doors like the Kinetic and like the Navara where one panel is fixed and one door slides. Same triple tab. So again, you're showing the shower, shower with return and tub. And as we go through that, again, from the very best down to the, to, to, to the standard quality. As we go through, again, remembering the fold outs. The Kinetic KS series, Dramatic price decrease on the series, going from almost $4,000 down to $3,000 for the shower version uh, in the 48 inch and about $3,100 for the 60 inch version. As we go through the KN, the K2, the Navara, the Glide, the Sorrento, you will notice after the Sorrento, there is no more Roma. Roma is now discontinued. The Apollo, we have added a 72 inch size in the Apollo as well, just like the Cordoba. In this section, we've also added to the back your bow fronts. So you have Navarra bow front and you have your Sorrento bow front. There's been a de price decrease on your Sorrento bow fronts by approximately 10%. This is due to the fact that the Amalfi series has been discontinued and the Amalfi was our price sensitive door. We wanted to give you a door that would be closer to $1,000. That's how we've accomplished it with the Sorrento. With the return panels, again, two-sided, both front and three-sided. So as you go through, you've got your kinetics. You've got your KT, KS, KN, K2, down to Navara, down to Glide, Sorrento, Apollo. So it really makes a very nice, smooth transition that the customer can go from the highest quality down to our standard quality. Then we talk about the tub versions. Again, all the pictures are to the right, all the prices are out of the left, KT, KS, again, about a thousand dollar price reduction on the KS to make it more, more competitive with the KT, the KN series, 
the K2 series, the Navara, the Glide, the Sorento, the Apollo. So again, you're seeing consistency, but you're seeing it broken down by the type of door the customer is choosing. Before, all the tub doors were, were located within the section of the type of door. Now all the tub doors are located based on the type of system it is, whether it's a bypass, a slider, or a shield. The next section, and I go back to the front because this, this is how you're, you're going to locate your things, is your pivot section. So in the pivot section, you have the door, the shower, and then the shower with return. There are no tub models in the pivot section. Your door are your simple sing single swing doors. So you've got your Platinum, your Sevilla, and your Montreal all together in one section now. Very simpli simplified way to find swing doors. Boom, boom, boom. Done. On the shower, this is your shower with inline. One of the important things here is that you now have a picture on the left of the unit with the glass shelf and a picture on the right with the picture with the, with the X bar. So it gives the customer a choice of a picture and, and, a, and a choice of a, an option. So we have the Carador, which is your wall hung series. We've got your Lexus, which is a new model number designation. Before this, it was just called inline. But the Lexus is your glass to glass hinge. So it used to be your PL series, so we're using that L to be your Lexus series. The next series we're now calling Trio. That used to be called Panel Door Panel. And again, Trio, because it's got a panel door panel, three panels in it, you've got your glass shelf and you've got your X bracket. We then have in the quarter inch frameless, we've got the Pura in line. And then last, we have the Sevilla in line. Going to the return panels, it takes you through the same in that you've got your Platinum Carry, your Platinum Lexus, your Pura two-sided, and your Sevilla two-sided. The next section is what we're calling our walk-in section. We used to call this our evolution section. It's divided into shower and tub, but at the same time, it's also divided into shields and panels. Shields are the units that have a second working moving panel on a moving door on the panel. Panels are just a single piece of glass. So as we go through, you're going to see walk-in shower shields, walk-in shower panels. Broke it up because that's the customer usually wants one or the other. We have added together now, however, the X support, which is your bracket. The V support, which is the old evolution support system, which was the guide that went above the glass, and also the G glass support system. So you now have on all of these showers, you have the availability of the three. So we have the Monaco square top with all three of those choices, the Monaco round top with all three of those choices. We then have the units available with return panels. We then have the Sienna shower shield, we then have several of those Evolution Series doors that we've encompassed. The new designation for the double wing door is called Wing. The single panel unit is called Petra now. We also have the 90 degree edge 6 inch panel. That's being called the Edge program. So you have the edge with return panels and the edge without return panels. And then the last is the Euro, which is the single glass panel in the front. Then the Eclipse, which is the curved panel that goes on the slice face. Sienna shower panel, which is your single panel that moves. Sienna uh, curve panel, curve, curve shower. In the walk-in tubs, we have the tub shields and the tub panels, similar to what we did on the showers. Here's your, your, your tub Monaco square top, tub Monaco round top, the Sienna Duo, which is a great shield because it has a moving pivot along the wall as well as the pivot on the door. This is different from the Monaco in that the Monaco is a fixed 
panel with a moving door only. This has two moving door doors. The door swings open, lays flat against the, the, the panel, or it can slide in the 20 degrees. The Sienna tub shield, which has the fixed panel like the Monaco with the moving door. Then the solo tub panel. The station, this is a brand new product. It's just a simple fixed tub panel. Sienna, which is a single moving tub panel. And then Sienna curved tub panel. Last section of the doors is the corner showers. We've broken these out by the type of door. So you have slice, round, neo, arc, square, half round. So as you go through, you find all the different doors of each type of configurations together now. So, you, so if somebody chooses a slice configuration, you can find all the doors for that. If somebody chooses an arch configuration, you can find all of those doors located in one place in the book now. Beginning with the slice, Navara, and the slice Sorrento, going into the Navara arc, the Sorrento arc, the Apollo arc, the Capri arc four, then we go into rounds, the Apollo round, let me digress for a moment here. The Apollo corner doors in the last catalog were called our shuttles. We have now renamed them. We have discontinued the shuttle inlines. The Apollo inline way outsold those doors. And in order to make it simpler and less names, we've renamed the shuttle series the Apollo series. We then go into the Capri round three. Capri round four, and then for a price door, the Alina round. We then go into our square configurations. The Apollo square, the Sevilla square, the Capri square, the Platinum cube, the ne and then we go into our Neos. So we have the Neo, the Platinum Neo, the Platinum Pura, which is your, your quarter inch Platinum, your Sevilla, your Capri Neo, and the Montreal Neo. We then go into the Capri half round. We then go into the bases. The bases have been laid out where it's very simple to find now. You start off in the book with your center drains. So we've got your, our older quad center drain. We then move into the low profile center drain. We then go into the integrated flange center, dra uh, center drains. We then go into the end drain. So you've got your quad, quad end drain. You're in line with, uh, with your integrated flanges. Then you've got your trough style quad, and then you've got your bow front quad, all with end drain. We then go into all of our corner units. So you have your arc, your low profile arc, your round, your low profile round, your neo, your low profile neo, your square, your low profile square, your slice, and then your adapt tech base. The last section that we're going to speak about is the Alessa has been reintroduced. We have 100% confidence now in the product. So the Alessa is available with two types of doors, a platinum door and a Sevilla door. Titan has been discontinued. So as you go through, you'll find the first section is your inline Alessa, which means you have an alcove style installation where only the front needs the door. And we have available three doors, the Platinum Cara style, the Platinum Lexus style, and the Sevilla inline. Again, remember that the Cara and the Lexus, the difference is wall hung versus glass to glass. We then have the two-sided Alessa series, which we then have the Lexus, which is the glass to glass, and we have the Sevilla two-sided available on this series. The last thing is the Alessa in what we're calling a cube version, which is your door entry from the end. Well, that basically pre uh, ends the discussion about the 2016 catalog. I know I went through it quickly. I know that if you take some time and play this over several times, you're going to see that the changes are really so much for the better. We appreciate all the hard work you guys have done in the past, and let's have another great year like last. Thank you very much.